Hello everybody, Max Graphics here, and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit on the hue and saturation tool. Uh, basically how to use it, how to utilize it, um, kind of a similar way of creating your own color corrections. Um, so I've already went to adjustments. Your setup might be a little bit different than mine. Um, this, if you notice, the ME115 demo, uh, that is for my digital media college class and my professor just wanted me to set our home screen essentially up so our main workspace in Photoshop <clears throat> will always look like this but for mine I'm gonna go to libraries and then right next to it is adjustments click that I'm gonna come over to hue and saturation now note you also have a bunch of different things like brightness, contrast, levels, curves, exposure, add an adjustment, color lookup, channel mixer, photo filter, black and white, invert, posterize, posterize, threshold, selective color, gradient map, hue saturation. But the big one is hue and saturation. So if you notice, you click on hue and saturation and then you have hue saturation one. And right now it's doing nothing because our values are set to zero. So let's come over here and go all the way dark and black screen and then all the way white, white screen. Um, you can kind of give it a hazy look or a more dark look from the lightness obviously and then your saturation bring it up that's plus 24 come across and you notice this is very vibrant so gray bring it in very rich too rich almost burnt looking but so we'll go probably something like that and we'll bring it down to about that and then you come up to hue and hue basically at the value is zero so you can come over here drag notice red greenish bluish, purple, uh, pinks, orangish, red again. Um, and so basically, you can come across here, so let's say you like the saturation. So you want to come up and make something crazy. Uh, this is just an image I grabbed offline, so it's pretty pixelated, really dirty, so just don't mind that. Um, <clears throat> but this tool can be used essentially to adjust say a nature shot if you're in photography you can like I said you know change the lighting you can go super dark how saturated do you want it to be and then kinda set something up completely different from the actual image now if I go back across here click that it's gone you can revert it back to your normal image or you can, let's see, what shall we do? Well, control C, control V. And then you can also delete that layer. I don't know what that's there. And then you can come down here, control click, uh, create clipping mask. And so it'll only attach to that top layer or the layer below it essentially but so we can come in and you can play around with it if you want a happy median or let's say you can come in with a big old eraser tool and go crazy with it and you can if you're very precise come through light in the sky you can revert the sky back um, or you could use a quick selection tool and uh, create the clipping mask, clipping mask with the hue and saturation and change the color of strictly the water. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can utilize this. Um, but this is just a quick little rundown of how to get to it, um, what it does, uh, the changes you can make, um, and overall, you know, create your own color corrections, your custom layer styles, font styles, um, photography, anything like that you can adjust. So, 
Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. And um, thanks for stopping by.